Hi, I'm Dave from Predators of the Heart. Now a lot of people have wondered how and where we keep our animals. So I wanted to give you some insight on our reptile house. What this is, it's a 40 foot long trailer, stainless steel on the outside, insulated fully with three and a half to four inch foam on the floor, the ceiling, and the walls. It's really energy efficient. There are two 25,000 BTU propane heaters in here that we use to heat the place. One is a primary, one is a backup system. This is our electrical panel. This thing is wired to the hilt to do a lot of different things. We have thermometers that read the outside temperature, the floor temperature, the mid temperature, and ceiling temperature all at once. We're constantly shooting temperatures with a heat gun to find out what the temperature in here is and what the temperature range on our animals is. We have a fan to circulate the air in here. And with all of this stuff combined, we're hoping that we can have a good environment for our animals. So far, it's worked out pretty good. I want to show you our first enclosure here. It's 16 feet long. These are three by four cages that we keep some of our reptiles in. There's four of those. These are two by threes where we keep some of our venomous snakes. And then we have eight foot long, three foot units on the bottom, two layers. One where we keep the cicadas in here is a magnificent king cobra, 13 feet long. Then we have down here some of the other animals. I'm going to just give you a sneak peek at some right here and let you see what we have in here. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? Diamondback. Up here, some of our iguanas that we use in our show. Great animals. And here, some giant red tegus. Not that little bearded dragon right here. Look at this. Isn't that magnificent? This is the female right here. The male is in back quite a bit bigger. We're going to come all the way down to the end, and I want to show you. Look at this. This is a 200 foot. 200 foot. 200 pound Burmese python right here. She's 18 feet long. Magnificent. Down here at the end, we have our small containers where we keep some of our other reptiles. For instance, let me show you this guy. This is a Gila monster. Spectacular, 12 years old. Beautiful, from the Austin Zoo. It's important that you have paperwork for all these animals, especially in the state of Washington, where a lot of them are no longer legal to have. So this is a rack of about uh, 32 containers where we can keep other smaller reptiles. Over here we have our rat and mouse rack, automatic watering system, feeders, nothing in here right now, but maybe in the future. If you look up here, we have a 5,000 watt lighting bar with a controller that can control the fades on this unit. So we can really crank out the light in here. We have windows that allow daylight to come in here, that we've cut in here. Get in here, boy. Shut this. And then I'm gonna take you into the alligator room, which is at the far end of the trailer. That's where we keep some of our alligators. Before I do that, let me show you the sink right here. This is our working area where we can wash our bowls and get our water. That's the sink area. When here is our alligator containment. We have a pool filter on here that will empty these tanks and refill them every 10 minutes. This alligator right here, it's Allie. He weighs almost 300 pounds. He's 8 feet long. He's been with us for over 10 years. He's a great animal. This tank right here, 13 feet long, about 4 feet deep. This is where we keep our snapping turtles and some of the other big aquatics. So alligators, snapping turtles, soft shell turtles, large alligator down there. And against the wall here, another heater cranking out the heat right now to keep this temperature up. We got a ceiling temperature of 109 degrees at the top and at the bottom, 
78 degrees. So the goal is, is to keep it at a moderate temperature where they can get out of the water, get into the water, and stay healthy. That's about all for this room. And we're going to show you now some of the other things we do at night when we come to feed the animals. So stick with us. <laughs>